record now. Okay, recording. Okay, so um, this thing of um, what if I have a child and um, it's and when the child speaks to me, I, I get the experience of guilt and there's an awareness that possibly I had uh, interactions with my child. This is not about, I mean, it's not about me, but it's a question. And um, my child and possibly I treated that child with, with hate or anger at, at a previous date. So uh, guilt is arising and um, the perception of, uh, and it's all coming up at the level of duality. So there's a me witnessing her body. And, um, and I mean, this is just how I see it. So if any of it's useful. I mean, I sort of see, um, I mean, I, I do personally, uh, if you like, believe in past lives or that there are, I call them karmic contracts with others. And, um, oops, sorry, I just stopped that. Karmic contracts with others, what does that mean? Well, at the level of the Course in Miracles, it means that, I mean, for me, from my own experience, and on the infinite level, there is just infinite light and love, and there's not even any duality or shadow, or no separation, no time. But in the, in the various levels, I'll call them the various levels of experiencing separation or perception, um, you know, sometimes I'm, I could be identified with my body and perceiving other bodies, and there is the awareness that others seem to be reporting pain or uh, guilt arises in, in, in what I perceive of as myself. So I think that that's part of, I sort of see this, this you know, almost like a school of being able to transcend whatever, whatever comes up into awareness at any time, to be able to transcend. And, you know, I mean, at the level of the course, I mean, there is no me and there is no other. And I'm not a body and others are not bodies. We're, we're all free beyond, the perception of the bodies, but the bodies is sort of ex seems to exist at a certain level of identification within the within the experience of, of separation and duality. So, and these things do come up in my experience. I mean, this is for me, I mean, it's a bit like a school where um, it's like a collective school. I sort of see it like it's a collective school where I, uh, when I, while I'm identified, you know, I seem to be in, in separation and others seem to be in separation in perception. And they do come, you know, like you did this, or I, I experienced guilt and uh, I witness, and, and there is an awareness that it seems in the past I did things and they're reporting their wounds. And uh, I mean, I do, I mean, I do some things which, I mean, you know, the, I mean, the course ones would be like um, God is love, for example, would be, it could be uh, God is love, in which I forgive myself, God is love in which. I forgive you uh, for if that seems appropriate lesson. All of these things for me are dissolving because ultimately for me, um, even if there seems to be this kind of association between myself and another, where it seems I've wounded another and another is, is coming up with the wound, for me, uh, then it could be a lesson that, you know, to use the course or to use whatever to clear the, to clear the shadow, which seems to be binding us both uh, until it dissolves. And I think anyone who's doing uh, advanced work like the course or the course lessons can has the tools, if you like, from the Holy Spirit, from grace, to dissolve the shadow. And that uh, will actually, in my experience, release myself and the other, even though myself and the other doesn't is not true at the level of the absolute truth, because there is no me and no other. Uh, but um, but at the level of perception, where uh, it seems I'm a body and they're a body, and there is another who has a wound, then for me it's a thing. Of course, yes, you know, in the in the dream of separation, I have in in even though it's the dream, I have wounded another, I have a, or I have wounded an aspect of myself, which I perceive as in another body. So so now it's calling for transcendence. I need to transcend the, the limitations in me. And I, I do in my experiences, if I transcend the limitations in me, which is also transcending the limitation of the other, if I try and transcend, or what you could call surrogately transcend the limitation in the other, who is also an aspect of me, then we're both released from the, I call it a karmic contract, you know, we're both in shadow. 
until the, until the shadow is released into light, into into nothingness. Uh, so it's like, as I do the work on myself, the other is released, or if I do the work on the other, I am released, because ultimately myself and the other in perception are, are one. So, and I vigorously do, I, I, I feel like I get uh, spiritual assignments, where others bring up certain things uh, in my perception, and then I have to, okay, uh, I can transcend. There is great power. I mean, I'll just share one of them. Uh, one of my favorite lessons is God did not create it, it's not real. And because of my white light spiritual experience, I, I realized that, you know, I can not only clear the limitations in myself so that I, I'm released into the light, but there seems to be through doing the course, and it makes sense because we're all one, I can clear that stuff in others. As, I mean, obviously, if there's divine permission, karmic permission uh, given ahead, but probably if others are coming to me with a wound, then usually I find that it is, you know, I, and I had that once with my mother, which I've shared, it was so miraculous to witness where my mother said she had uedema. The doctor said they, they could do nothing for her. Uh, she was in suffering because the doctor said there was nothing to be done with her swollen legs. And so I had just been doing the lessons for myself only. Uh, you know, God did not create kidney failure in myself. God did not create gout. And I thought, and it popped into mind, do it for her. So I said, I did God, not, God did not create uedema in my mother. And I did it vigorously because I knew from my experience of applying the course that once it disappears from my awareness, all the thoughts and symptoms, then it also miraculously, it seems that the body and the illness disappears as well. So I, I did this for her and um, God did not create uedema. And within a day, the uedema was, was going away. And within a few days, it was gone. And she somehow intuitively knew, of course, we are one, but intuitively she said she was just showing me her feet and she somehow had the intuition that I was doing something, uh, even though I, I didn't mention it or, or speak to her about what, what I was doing. And, and the miracle occurred and, and she was released from that, which was quite miraculous. So it's almost like with the course, sometimes there's a power to clear the, the shadow in me and the shadow in others for both. So. If, if someone's got reporting to me a wound, you know, I could do God did not create um, guilt in myself. And so there's not God did not create, God did not create pain in my child. And so it is not real. And so it's like the light is brought into all wounds that are in duality, that are in separation, that are in fear and limitation and are dissolved away. And so it's almost like if that seems to come up, she seems to appear, the daughter or what with son appears over and over again, and there seems to be guilt being brought up. And I just have to keep doing the work until it disappears. And it seems to not, I know what the work is done, what I call transcended, because, you know, it's like, it just doesn't occur any longer. And you almost forget that there ever was a problem. And I've often found the most mystical, especially with my mother, which I did a lot of clearing work with, that, um, you know, there, there, there was only love after I'd done, five, it was actually five years of clearing. So it was a lot of clearing to do with, with the mother. But uh, yeah, a joyful, a joyful oneness and love before she, she, you know, she left the body. So, um, okay, I'll stop on, I'm going to press stop.